I am standing in one of our school's learning gardens. I am standing in front of the Three Sisters Garden right now. As you can see, we have a diversity of plants. If you're not familiar with this garden, the short story is that this is a Native American garden where all of these plants work together to help each other grow, otherwise known as companion planting. We have corn here. The corn is gonna provide the strong trellis that these pole beans need to grow up. So these pole beans also have the unique quality of fixing nitrogen and putting it into the soil, thereby feeding the corn. Over here we have our squash with our thorny stems that can help reduce the amount of pests around your garden. While also our winter squash over here, which in this case is a pumpkin, will be crawling through the front of this garden, shading out the soil and mitigating any evaporation in your soil. So keeping a consistent moisture. In, in that way, these plants are all working together. If we wanna take a look at some of our fruits here, this is one of our summer squash examples, and this is a yellow summer squash. You can often know the difference. Summer squash is usually gonna grow in a bush varietal, where your winter squash is more your vining, walking type of vine. Um, what I love about these squash varietals is how easy it is to show male and female flowers. So, so taking a closer look at these squash plants, what I would love to do is show you the difference between the male and the female flowers. If we come in here and we take a look, we can tell that this flower has been pollinated and we have the fruit behind it. So this is of course our female flower developing into a fruit. Um, our male flowers, which side note are delicious as squash blossoms, are going to just have a straight stem, no fruit behind it. And that's how we can tell that's a male flower. So very easy to tell apart. Really great lesson to show the students. Up here we have um, obviously our pollen flowers up here. If, these are wind pollinated crops of course, but if we just give it a little tap, we can start to see that pollen start to fall. And the goal is, the reason we plant these in a cluster is that that pollen will have an easy time dropping into these tassels, filtering down here and pollinating this crop for a great kernel set. We are also um, going to take a look at these beans all growing up this corn. So this is just a great example of how all of these work together. Um, different types of flowers as well. This is a perfect flower. So we don't have two distinct types of flowers on this plant. It's just one flower that produces the fruit. So that's your example of a three sisters garden. And this is how it looks in mid August. So. I hope you are having success with your three sisters garden out there and happy harvesting should be producing a lot right now.